Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is a bit different again. Um, we are doing um, a reaction, my reaction to Ange Postacoglu's first press conference as the Celtic manager. Um, he first said, uh, I want my team to play football everyone talks about. If we do that, we'll be on our way to success. That's a great start, and what a start. I mean, I need to go on to say it's just words. You know, he wants to put it on the, you know, it's just words on the, it's just words he's coming out with. He's got to put it on the football pitch if he becomes, you know, true. He also added, if I didn't want pressure, I would probably be in a different occupation. I'm here because this is where I want to be. It's where I want to coach. I mean, another one. I'm pretty sure the question was like, a step down or something like that. Um, I'm not too sure if he said that. Yeah. Um, and join the move to Celtic from his, as he said, lower levels. If I didn't want pressure, I'd be doing, as I said a minute ago, he said, an hour application or coaching a local club with my friends. This one to be, this is where I want to coach. This man is ambitious, and I, I like that. I like it from. He's not saying he's going to go out there and do anything. He's, he's, he's not say, he's not going out and saying, oh, I'm going to beat blah 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 blah. He, he's ambitious. He wants, you know, he's thinking. He's brilliant. I, I, I'm, he's this guy. I actually thought. <laughs> When he, you know, we were getting linked match post we were going into anybody in times. We still are. Um, you know, there's only like, is it four weeks till the Michelin game? Um, it's going to be interesting. Um, the signings, and the, the the backroom team. He did go on about a bit. Uh, uh, John Kedding and um, Gavin Stratton. He did say he'll take it by day by day. You know all that stuff. And if we have to appoint somebody to fill that gap or a uh, better experience we'll get them in i like it i like it from i like it <laughs> um so he did say an, so no to gordon stratton but no clarification on direct the football role i think further assessment needed it it sounds like it sounds like further assessment needs to be done on that direct of football job um but Ange confirms uh, the international players will be available for our first champions league qualifiers which is great they played well um the Celtic International boys at um you know, Scotland. McGregor of course for anyone. I mean we scored against Croatia, I mean come on. <laughs> um that's gonna be crucial. Obviously they're gonna have rest now as he said he did say in his press conference they have to take rest now. Um it's gonna be very crucial. Um it's gonna be interesting. Um Don Mackay had a wee bit of say he says I'm delighted to uh, welcome Welcoming Ange to Celtic, securing Ange is a huge uh, coup for the cl this club and having spent a, a number of weeks getting to know Ange, I'm hugely impressed by his style and uh, philosophy. We have a real winner in Ange. Hopefully we do. Hopefully we do. Oh, we'll believe. You know, we've got to back the man now. You've got to back him now. I uh, also added Mackay. It's a huge job uh, to be the manager of Celtic Football Club and Ange has 25 years of experience. I'm absolutely thrilled. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure they had another bit. No. Ange uh, said... I'm really humbled and excited about the responsibility given to me as the manager of Celtic Football Club. That's interesting. I like the way he's talking. He's not building himself up to be the greatest manager in history. Like, I'm not going to point out, but you know, you know, Lennon, just saying, you know, you know. Talking a bit too much now in the radios and stuff now. He's just, he's making himself a bit too much. You know, he's, he's that reputation of being a Celtic legend uh, when he played for Celtic. It's just going right out the window. Aye, Gavin Stratton, aye. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it is what it is. We've got to... I mean, I guess we've got to deal with it in a way. I guess. <laughs> I, do, I, don't, I don't want Gavin Stratton. I didn't want Gavin Stratton or John Kennedy. Well, I wanted like, a fresh backroom staff and it was looking like it was going to be that when Andrew was only getting linked with him. Uh, the Celtic. I can't remember who, who it was, but... He did say in his press conference they'll take it by day by day, but I'd, I was looking for a new backroom team, maybe a bit more fresh ideas with Ange, but, you know. Also looking at some new signs, guys, I did that yesterday on yesterday's video. Um, it was a, I think it was a good video. Um, if you haven't checked it out, guys, make sure you check it out. But um, I'll finish on another word that Ange said in the press conference, something I dreamed about years ago, being over here and managing in Europe to be given the opportunity to manage a huge club is one I'm really looking forward to. So, maybe Champions League makes back at Celtic Park. We never know, we might. Um, you know, when I'll, I'll go back to the point 
um, one of the people said about um, stepping down and the pressure. If he said, if he didn't want the pressure, I'd probably be in a different job, basically. I'm here because this is where I want to be. This is where I want to coach. I mean, if that, that uh, impresses me, obviously it's not going to, it's not going to um, impress every Celtic fan, obviously until the football pitch. It's it's obviously not, it's, it's, it's me as well. you got to see it in the football pitch. Um, obviously we've got pre-season games coming up. Um, pretty sure like it's Sheffield Wednesday, not, is it Sheffield Wednesday? No, it's Preston. I'm saying Liam Shaw from Preston. Uh, Sheffield Wednesday, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, Preston and something that come a couple of teams, I'm not sure, but... Um, and then we've got obviously Michelin, FC uh, Michelin obviously. They got in the Champions League last season. Um, they played Liverpool, I've seen that game. Um, the, the, you can say they're nothing special, but yet again, Celtic are one of those teams where you could just go back to Kluge, <laughs> Fens Varos. Uh, you could probably go back, yeah. Um, you know, what did we learn from this? That Andrew's not going to, he's not a guy that's um, bigging himself up to be the best manager in the world. He's, he's great. I like his ambition. I really do. Um, the way he speaks and all that stuff is great. Wants to be in the train pitch right away, which he did yesterday, his first train session. And I think that's what we learned from this, his first pre, uh, press conference today. I think it was really, really, really good press conference. I like the way he talked and the way he described like, what he's going to do at Celtic and how he's happy to be in charge. Uh, Don McKay had a wee bit to say as well, but we're really, really just focusing on, obviously, and Posh Cogley today. Um, it was good. Um, it was good to hear a bit more about him, uh, about what he's going to do at the club, and I liked it. Um, I don't I, I think that's it really. But um, let me just check. <laughs> um, but yeah, and and just message to the supporters about the next response to this point was brilliant. I thought um, he's right in saying every fan wants them to be uh, to succeed, but the message he sends alongside it is fantastic. Couldn't he? You couldn't paint a as this is words that's going to see if you clip it right, and you just bring it back when either see when we won the league. Just saying, right? <laughs> couldn't paint, a, couldn't paint a, a better picture for his vision for our club. All aboard the Ange. We're on the Ange bus. I'm telling you. Um, he said one more word before we go, guys. Um, I, I gather that there are, as a, a mixed response when I was uh, announced. Um, yes, I do believe Fufa. Yes. <laughs> uh, what do I know is 100% of Celtic supporters will want me to success to be successful because there's nothing more important to the fans than success. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's just that an actual question. Yeah, how do I get players on my outer team? Like, ah, <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> right. Wait till I finish recording. Okay, just wait a minute. <laughs> um. I had a wee bit of end, I'll finish on this guy guys, I can't wait to see the fans back in here and my role is to try to provide a club that are proud and look forward to watching. If I can achieve those things, success follows and that will hopefully, and hopefully I will win another role. Um, it, so, it sounds really, really, really good. Um, but I'll leave it there guys. Um, <laughs> thanks uh, Thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and like. Uh, but, but I will say one thing. It's so strange, before we go, it's so strange seeing a Celtic manager in a press conference that isn't defensive on every single question put to him. Come on. Come on. <laughs> the chat, oh my god. Um, and I'll leave you there, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. Peace.